Well, Stanford Hospital and the 49ers are teaming up for some innovative research on the effects of violent impact during football games. This season, with the NFL's blessing, sensors are being placed in the uniforms of selected players in an effort to better understand potential injuries to vital organs. NBC Bay Area's Kent Wilhoit explains. No two ways about it. Second and 13. Favre is under pressure and he goes down. Football is a violent sport. Impacts causing injuries can and do wreak havoc on players, teams, and seasons. Now Stanford Hospital is looking to make an impact of its own. These are our uh, capacitance-based sensors that, that measure the forces that we're interested in measuring as the guys uh, give and receive impacts on the field. In short, researchers now have the ability to gauge and record the force of hits to vital organs not directly protected by pads. The sensors are placed for our offensive players, select offensive players, over their uh, lungs, over their liver, spleen, and their two kidneys, which are in the back. And it's a fabric which, when compressed, translates roughly force. That is then sent to a wireless transmitter in the back of the shoulder pads and sent to us on the sidelines so we can get real-time information. The hope is to eventually collect enough data to not only diagnose an injury more efficiently, but provide feedback on future protective equipment. It's really difficult to get an idea of, you know, when they do come off the field and they're hurting, for instance, uh, how bad the injury is, if, if there's an injury that needs to be looked at with an MRI or something more serious, or if they can go back into play. The NFL won't let the 49ers use the data during the game, something about a competitive edge. But the players participating know it's in their best interest. Well, I think they enjoy it. They, they have uh, a healthy sense of it. They, they laugh about being RoboCop or a cyber football player. But the one thing they're excellent at doing is giving us feedback. This works, this doesn't work. And they've actually really helped us make a, a better research approach. So they're active partners in this. Partnering to keep them off the bench and on the field. At Stanford, Kent Wilhoit, NBC Bay Area News. Well, Stanford is also working on a device that will measure hydration and sweat depletion during competition.